Hi everyone, here I have volume 1 of Nanatsu no Taizai, which translates to The Seven Deadly Sins. It's a, a recently new series that started in Weekly Shonen Magazine, and I believe it's a really good series. Many people agree with me, some disagree, but I believe it will probably do as well as Fairy Tale is doing right now. So yeah, on the front cover we have the main characters. This person here, his name is uh, Meliodas. This person right here, the heroine, her name is Elizabeth. Liz. And right here is a pig that can talk. Hawk. Side. Back. So just some uh, rough sketch by the artist. The manga author of this series is Nakaba Suzuki. He's a pretty famous manga author. Well, not extremely famous like Oda Sensei or Kishimoto Sensei or even Kubo Sensei. But he's quite known because he's already had a series in Weekly Shonen Jump, which lasts quite a while. It was called uh, Rise and Impact. It was a sports manga series. And it did quite well. Uh, but now this new series, like I said, is in Weekly Shonen Magazine, so I guess he ended his contract with Shueisha quite a while back and migrated to this magazine. Uh, yes, I think I've mentioned it in a previous video. Some manga series can do better in other magazines, but this is not one of them. This could actually have done pretty well in Jump. But, like I said, maybe it might not. It all depends on the readers, how they vote. Jump is a bit too strict on the way to do it, but I can understand why. It's to help new manga artists to be involved with the magazine as well as bringing new stories, new ideas to to the magazine and vast readers everywhere around the world, not only in Japan. But anyway, let's focus on this manga series. Uh, I've already described who's on the front cover, so let's take this check it off. So just some more artwork by the author. And what does it say at the bottom? The deadly, uh, the seven deadly sins. So yeah, and the name of the artist. Nakaba Suzuki, volume one. Side, back. That's just the same as this. Yep. Before I go any further, I just want to talk lightly about the series itself. The Seven Deadly Sins uh, represent a kind of group of criminals or evil knights that serve the king in the kingdom uh, Britannia. But apparently one day they wanted to overthrow the kingdom and they were kind of defeated by another band of knights called the Holy Knights and the world fought or at least most of the world thought that the members of the deadly uh, the seven deadly sins sorry were all dead or in jail now several years later uh, i think like 10 or 12 years later maybe uh, the holy knights organize a coup d'etat and they become the new rulers of the of britannia as we find out during this volume their rule can be quite harsh and cruel and they're all very strong, as we see, during the fights. The only heir to the kingdom is this person here, Elizabeth. She travels the world in hopes of finding a member or several members of the notorious group, the Seven Deadly Sins, in hopes that they would help her, they would lend her their strength, in order to defeat the Holy Lights and hopes of bringing peace and order to the kingdom. 
first person she meets from this group is this person right here, Meliodas. Meliodas decides to help Elizabeth, and together they travel looking for the rest of the members of the Seven Deadly Sins. That's a brief review of the story itself, so let's have a look at this volume one. The artwork is absolutely incredible, there's a lot of detail. And it's very easy to read compared to some other series. So yes, here are the seven deadly sins. Uh, where is he? This is this is Meliodas, this character right here. We do meet a few of the other members of the seven deadly sins, but at this point or in this volume, I think we only meet Meliodas and maybe one other. Yes, we do. We meet uh, this one right here, Diane. Uh, later on, we do meet this one right here, Bane and King. And that is it for now. But anyway, one. So yeah, like I was saying, the artwork is absolutely incredible. It's not too serious. It does have a few gag parts in it. But overall, it's a brilliant series. And I can't wait till it gets animated. If it gets animated, that is. Uh, this is a holy knight right here. The first holy knight we meet, actually. His name is Gilfonda, if I remember right. When we do meet of other members of the Seven Deadly Sins, we see that they're not exactly like their wanted posters. And not only that, but they don't seem to have age since the last time they were seen. So it's kind of a mystery as to what happened to them after they were chased out or supposedly killed by the Holy Knights. And yes, this is the... Um, other member of the Seven Deadly Sins, her name is Diane. She is a member of the Giants Clan. And she kind of has a crush, a big crush, on Meliodas. Oh yes, another thing we find out in this volume is that Meliodas is actually the captain, or the leader of the Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah, yeah, this is just a flashback of when the Seven Deadly Sins apparently overthrew the kingdom. 
and yeah. And then some just some artwork. Yeah, so just some fan, uh, not some fan art, but some sketches, some character design. So that's it for volume one of Now That's Not Taizai or The Seven Deadly Sins. It's a brilliant series, do give it a a read. If you can, I highly advise it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.